So this next part here I want to teach you is how do you continually engage with the pages that you've connected with page to page. Now obviously as Builder Rosa, everybody's used to this where uh, when you're logged in as your personal profile and what do you do to look at conversations? You click on home. And when you click on home, bear with me a second here, it's everything that you're associated with. Everything, all your conversations, everything else like that. Okay. The same goes for when you're a page. Back to talking finger, log in as my page. Your page has a home button too. Now this is vitally important for long-term engagement. When you are logged in as your page and you click home, these are all the pages you're connected to page to page. Now this is really great because now you can go back to all these pages that you've connected to earlier when I showed you how to connect like a page twice, once is yourself, once is your page. What you really should be doing too is you should be sorting. Uh, Facebook by default sorts to top stories, which you actually want to click on is most recent. That way you get more things here. And now again, this is my pages home feed. So everything I've connected with, notice it's all pages, all pages, everything else like this. So if you want to continue engagement with the people that, or the pages, sorry, that you've connected with, click on home and now you can go. Best time, you can see, sorry, there's a post here, best time to tweet and post on Facebook and Twitter. Social Media Examiner has a post here, Churchill Classics, Sweetie Sweepstakes, etc., etc. What you could do is spend a little time. You don't have to click on every single one, okay? The idea of engagement is to be able to say something intelligent on these pages. And also what you're doing is you're continually exposing your page to an audience. So let's go to a Social Media Examiner for an example here, okay? This is my reminder. I'm back on social media page, social media examiner's page that I've connected with. And now what I can do is go through and look for interesting posts. Again, you just don't pick one out of the blue. The best way to do it is find something that they've posted recently that you can really discuss. Um, do you talk politics and social media and stay away from it? I can comment here um, or I can comment on this post, 10 ways to grow your Facebook following, etc. And once I've made the post, then I can click on home again and now go through them again. And because it's sort of most recent, you'll see two new posts popped up since then. And like I said, just go down the line, comment on this is a, you know, a great picture here. I can just click on this image if I want. And now I can just post here and congratulate the people, um, whatever I want. But the idea is constant exposure of your page. Now, one more thing I want to show you is that some people, instead of um, connecting the way I just showed you, like you're liking twice, once is your personal profile, once is your page, and then engaging. What some people actually do, and especially from LinkedIn I notice, is they come and they actually message the page instead of engaging with the page. And I don't mean to pick on anybody here, but I'm just going to click on this one right here. Now, this is great and everything, and Danielle here did tell me about her page, which is great. But if you think about what she did was she really only told me about her page. So even if I go there and I like it right now and I do everything that I just said, she didn't help herself by going into my messages. If you think about this aspect, the message is a direct message right to me. So I'm the one who's going to see this, nobody else. Whereas if Danielle would have taken a little bit of time and went through the steps that I just showed you, um, she would have had some exposure. Like I'll point on Bigfoot Media right here. See, now they came and they actually engaged in our page. I'm scroll up here. And they wrote something on our wall that was interesting, and now there's engagement. But what happens is everybody that comes to visit our page now sees this, Bigfoot Media. They can hover over it. They can click on it and go there. I like the page from here. You know, and you'll see some other pages down here. Scroll down a little bit. You know, like Graphic Boutique. See, somebody here wrote something about nice about uh, Eric's presentation. But uh, if they would have just messaged us, nobody else would have seen it. This way, they're getting some exposure. So we really hope this helped a lot with your Facebook marketing. Of course, see our other videos, um, you know, the ones in the beginning that I linked to as far as tagging. Um, and how to find your spam folder and how to stay out of the spam folder. And as well, we have some other videos on how to add admins. And of course, we go outside the box, uh, outside of Facebook. There's some videos about uh, Pinterest and LinkedIn, things like that. 
But any questions or comments or anything you have um, about any of this, visit our Facebook page. It's simply facebook.com forward slash talking finger up here. Feel free to post right on our wall. Uh, say hello to us, just like I taught you. you. can expose yourself, not sell yourself, but say hello, um, engage in conversations, and ask questions right on the wall. Thanks so much for watching, and good luck with all your social media marketing.